the first achievement that we, we are able to, to, to communicate from different parts of Africa. For example, I'm Tanzanian, but in my group we have someone from Nigeria, we have someone from Uganda, and another one from Ghana. This is a very good platform to find different isolated competencies that I could collaborate with, use the result, the result to well classify life. Since we have all these global problems, uh, we were convinced that addressing these complex problems goes beyond uh, a disciplinary support and that's why uh, we are doing this and it's part also of our new strategy uh, which is linked to the sustainable development goals and we are addressing those issues and the right method and the right way of addressing this global challenge is through a collaborative research approach. To publicize that initiative, we felt we should collaborate with IFS and we are very happy to host this, this, this conference. We've also invited organizations that support research. This um, initiative is part of our bigger focus on developing and retaining the next generation of African academics. The leaders of higher education were very concerned that they, the universities were being depopulated of academic staff and they were concerned about who is going to be teaching and doing research in our institutions in the next 20 years. Everybody has a story. Everybody's story is different. Everybody's story is amazing and beautiful. And we need to create opportunities for people to be able to tell their stories about their research, about their aspirations, and also for the rest of us to hear the stories so that we can find common ground and we can also find things that we can learn from. For collaborative research, I've gained a lot of uh, disciplines because I've got a, a lot from other members. Like for myself, I'm an environmental engineer in water technology. We have another one who is ecologist and another one who is uh, environmental physicist. So I gain a lot from them. The first expectation I had before starting this collaborative research is to meet many, to meet other people that have different background, but who could contribute to improve my knowledge in biosystematics because I'm a botanist ecologist, but I need a genetics, I need a biochemistry, I need so many different fields to result in those fields to help well classif classify life. And I cannot concentrate on myself alone. Podio communication was very effective to start with. I still encourage it to continue. But then my biggest comment is that after the initiation of the project, there should be, there should be ways whereby the IFES can call upon all the researchers from time to time so that they are sure they can follow up and they are sure that what they say they are doing is being done. You can actually achieve more in a short time with the little resources. For instance, each one of us was implementing their part of the project simultaneously at the same time. And uh, re three sets of results achieved at the same time with the limited resources. This uh, collaborative platform allows different disciplines to all assemble. And even if you are not directly involved with them, you are still able to learn, right? And maybe in the future see how to you know, expand your research areas to include some of those new ideas you get. When you take the institutions, you realize that the thread that goes through is 
there is need for intra-African collaboration. The IFS is doing it, the AAS is doing it, Carnegie is keen to help build this. The IDRC also noticed that it is relevant to this. So intra-African research collaboration is a major thread among the institutions. And when they take their researchers, they also really bring out one key issue. Individual research is good, but when you do collaborative research, you achieve more. This kind of awareness and defining objectives and, and, and following uh, with the strategies that will allow those objectives to be met are some of the important factors, sort of leadership, the political aspect and the financial support. These are, these are some of the important ingredients that will make this flourish. As a first step, this conference, we created this platform uh, by trying to invite different potential collaborators for this initiative uh, by showcasing uh, the results we have achieved uh, and this is what we are uh, going to follow up with some of the organizations and partners and if there is a need uh, we might also uh, continue doing the same uh, demonstration of the cases uh, and approaching both different donors and partner organizations that are interested in uh, working together with us.